Dylan and I are going on a very exciting, another exciting Alaska adventure today. And that Alaska sun is shining. Like, look at that. So nice out today. Gorgeous. And if you're wondering what we're doing, we are going dog sledding today. ready to leave for our dog sledding tour. Did the briefing, which we did the other day for Glacier Paddleboarding. The whole operation. People are getting married. People are going on different tours. They're in and out. They weigh you. They do the safety briefing and then you get on the helicopter. After our quick safety briefing, it was time to head to the helicopters. We had already taken these helicopters last week with Glacier Paddleboarding and we had the same pilot who's one of our favorites. It's such a magical ride as it lifts up, up over the lodge and then across the mountains. Along the way you might see bears and moose and waterfalls. This was an even more scenic ride than our one to glacier paddleboarding. There you can see the glacier we went to last time and then we traveled further to Cascade Glacier which is in the top of the mountains. The dog sleds live in this remote location for the entire summer so that they don't get too hot. These dogs are owned by Dallas. He's a five-time Iditarod winner. In fact, he was the youngest Iditarod winner and he's won the most times of anyone. He has all of these dogs that he uses to train for the Iditarod. All of these dogs have either been in the Iditarod or have even won the Iditarod. We came closer to the dog sled camp and then it was time to land right next to all of the dogs. There when we landed we got a quick briefing on how to work the dog sleds before it was time to set off on our adventure. In the back here and someone will be driving this sled. Your guide will be driving this sled right here. <laughs> And then we were off. It was time to go experiencing the dog sled life on the top of a glacier in Alaska. I don't know if there's any experience that gets more Alaska than this. The dogs go fast enough where you feel like you're getting a little pull, but at the same time you can take in all the scenery and really enjoy learning about these beautiful dogs. We had such a good time up there on the glacier. We learned about the Iditarod racers, we learned about the dogs, and we learned about how the mushers handle this lifestyle up on the glacier in this cold environment. We were having such a good time and I highly recommend taking one of these tours so that you can truly experience one of the most unique things there is to do in Alaska. After about a two mile ride, we ended up back at home where we got to hang out with the dogs that pushed us and pulled us and meet the new puppies who are going to train for the Iditarod in the future. They were just so cute. That might have been my favorite part of all. Then we got to go see where the dog mushers stay during the summer. Here you can see their small huts with the warm sleeping bags and all the supplies that they have to fly up to eat and live on this glacier. And before you knew it, it was time to head back to home base. But first, a stunning helicopter ride to get there. Along the way, we saw three different moose and we got to skim low above the glacier pool that we had paddle boarded in just the week before. It was magic. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along on all of our future Alaska adventures.